Hey everyone, Landon here. I'll just um, run you through this new uh, feature for the Victron unit. So this um, prioritizes the the wind and solar power over shore power. So where and why I'm super excited about it is that it's it's ideal for us because um, we we live in a bus, a 40 foot bus, and sometimes where we are staying, we have the ability to plug in, but I like to use as much solar as we can to, to be um, complementing our loads but then as soon as the, the batteries go flat we go out and we plug it in or, or usually we do it on the screen as well so so this is exciting for, for people like me and it's even you know like um, if you've got an epic setup using either a multi plus or a quattro in your in your caravan or your or your bus your motorhome your boat even or whatever it is and say you're plugged in for a long period of time and, and you don't really want to be um, you know chewing up heaps of heaps of grid power you want to be utilizing the solar that you've got on the roof the best you can this this feature is for you guys and and I um, thought I might just run you through with with how to do it um, I do all my uploading and things through the the VRM so this here is is sunny the bus our bus um, so what we need to do we need to do two things um, first we can update the um, uh, the firmware on the servo on the through the touch screen so you can either do this um, physically in person um, now my internet wants to be slow but I um, just need some patience and we'll get there so we go into settings um, we go to firmware and then we go down the bottom oh no, online updates first and then we go down here and we go check for updates and, and mine's already done I just um, implemented this literally five minutes ago so um, so that's that's step number one and then step number two we want to go to the VRM um, if you've not set up with the VRM I can um, show you how to do that and then we go to device list firmware update there is a caution around doing the firmware updates um, there we don't really want it to be relying on an internet source that is powered from the inverter because um, if the inverter drops out halfway through and loses its internet it's um, it, it can have a bit of a um, you know a hassle there so, so it's best to use a hotspot on your phone or plug your internet uh, into a different service or have it running off of your um, your, your DC side of things as well so um, so then what it'll have it'll have over here update get me out of the way on the on the multi plus mine's already done and then it'll run through a few different checkboxes and um, yeah it's really really important to, to follow that through and and understand that and then after that um, it'll it'll restart. It'll take a couple of minutes, and then if we go over to device list and we go remote VE configure, this is where um, I do the programming of the inverters remotely, um, and then we'll go download, which uh, we can we can skip that because it's already downloaded, and then. This here is what it looks like downloaded. So then over here is, is the new feature and it's limit internal charger to prioritize other energy sources. So and this is where you can select your voltage and, and I'm, I'm not sure with where the, the best um, voltage is going to be for my battery. So I, I in our system we have pylon tech batteries which are a 15 cell battery so they are slightly lower voltage than a, a general 48 volt battery which are a 16 cell. Um, so so it might be, I think it even tells you here default value 52 so um, yeah I, I, I'd try somewhere like that. I'm just trying at 50. Um, I don't mind keeping him at a at a lower lower voltage, and, and there's a way as well that we can do a bring up to 100%. So and and I'll show you that in a minute. But basically, we tick this box, add in that value, we go escape, and usually it has an option to save. And then back here on the VRM, we go upload, select file, 
and it'll be the the newest one. Um, how do we uh, details? This one here, 7 a.m. is the one that we want, and then we go open, and that'll that'll upload. That'll um, you know take a take a little bit, and and often during the upload process, they the inverters will, will power off and then power back on, um, which is all normal. And sometimes the relays go clickety clunkety as well, which um, is all good. And then the exciting part is oh, I need to, have to wait for my internet to be delayed. Come on, where are you? Here we are. So the new feature is this one, and it shows this little symbol down here, which is um, showing that it's prioritizing the the wind the wind and the solar so it's just solar for us so um, and that that percentage that I said of that was was 50 volts so which which is probably where I want it like um, that's gonna bring it up it might get to, I don't know 27 volts 27 percent or something like that at the at the 50 volts so I can let you know with with how that turns out but um, where it, it's exciting and where you can still Fine tune thing. So this is a, a new one up here where it says sustain. That's a not a normal um, one. Usually that just says on or inverting. Um, so then that's switched on. The state is sustain, and this is where you can set the input current limit. So <coughs> um, where we are, we're um, staying with the with the family, and you know sometimes I, I like to to keep this down a little bit as well. I, um, to to not be such a, a burden on on the system, we're, we're plugged into a shed that that I'm, I'm in now, and um, yeah, it, it's um, sometimes nice to be drawing a smaller amount of power, but then sometimes it's nice too to be able to keep it that charge. So um, you know, we can ramp, ramp it right up to 15 amps, but generally generally 10 is where we have it. But this one here is the um, exciting one: charge battery to 100%. So say if um, we were leaving tomorrow in the bus to, to go on a on an adventure and we really want to make sure that we're at 100 percent we'll press that button and then that'll um, it bring us right up to 100 percent ready ready for us to go on our adventure so yeah bloody it, it, it I'm, I'm excited and happy about this feature I, I feel like it's um, you know gonna be handy for for so many people and and for us you know like um, now we can just leave the lead plugged in and we know that it's going to um, be getting the batteries up to that, um, you know, 30% maybe. We'll, we'll see where where the guess is. But, um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great run. Thanks, Victron. And um, hopefully this this explains um, how to how to implement the, the new update as well. It's an um, exciting new feature. But, yeah, comment, comment below and um, let me know if you'd like some, some videos or some explanation on some other, other features that, that Victron um, has as well. I'd be more than happy to, to run you through all that.